Assalamu alaikum. Today we will solve exercise 28 from Mathematics 1. Number one. Number one says find the number of degrees in three right angles. So what is a right angle? If the measurement of one angle is 90 degree, then we can say this is a right angle. This angle will be called a right angle if the measurement of this angle is 90 degree. So we know that we know that one right angle, one right angle is 90 degree. One right angle, one right angle is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, we can say three right angle. If one right angle is 90 degree, then three right angle will be three multiplied by 90 degree. 3 multiplied by 90, 3 90, 27, and 0 will be there. So 270 degree. Now, number 2. Number 2 says find the number of degrees in x right angle. If one right angle is 90 degree, 2 right angle is 2 multiplied by 90, 3 right angle is 3 multiplied by 90, then we can say x right angle will be x multiplied by 90. That was very interesting and easy question. So x multiplied by 90 degree. Finally, 90 x degree. Now, number three. Number three says find the angle between the hands of a clock at 11 hour. At first, we have to draw the picture. So if we draw it, then you can see that this is our hand and this is minute hand. So at 11 hour, this angle will be created. And we can easily say this angle is one part out of 12 part. That means you can create total 12 angles. So what will be our final answer? Our final answer will be that, that is a one part. That is a one part out of 12 part. So what will be the final angle? One part out of 12 part. Okay. And what is the total angle? That means whole angle. That is a revolution. That is 360 degree. So if we divide 360 by 12, it will be 30 degree. In every hour, the hands of a clock will create 30 degree. This one will create 30. This one 30, this one 30, this one 30. In every hour, hands of a clock will create 30 degree. Now, Number four. Number four says, find the angle between the hands of a clock at eight hour. If I want to draw the picture, then how can you say? Suppose this is our hand and this is minute hand. So this is eight hour. So we can say in every hour, hands of a clock will create 30 degree. And here we will get four hour. How? Look, from eight to nine, one hour. 9 to 10, 1 hour. 10 to 11, 1 hour. 10 to 11, 1 hour. If you look at this properly, then you can easily say that this one is 30, this one is 30, this angle is 30, and this angle is 30. So how many 30 will be there? So 4 multiplied by 30 will be 120. So we can write in this way. There are a total 4 hour out of 12 hour. Okay? multiplied by 360 degree. So 4 by 12, that will be 3. Then 360 by 3, that will be 120. So final answer will be 120 degree. And we can easily say in another way. Hands of a clock will create 30 degree in each hour. So here 4 hours will be created. So 30 degree multiplied by 4, 120 degree will be created at 8 hour. So the angle between the hands of a clock at 8 hour is 120 degree. Number 5, find the angle between the hands of a clock at y hours afternoon. We can easily say that in each hour, it will create 30 degree. Then at y hours, hands of a clock will create 30 degree multiplied by y. That means 30 y degree. Or we can say y divided by 12 
multiplied by 360 degree. That means y hour out of 12 hour. Okay, so 360 by 12, that will be 30 degree. Final answer will be 30y degree. Now, number six. Number six says, if I turn through half a revolution, through how many degrees do I turn? A revolution is the whole part. This is the revolution, full part. Suppose in a clock, if our hands of many cents complete a whole rotation, that means it complete a whole revolution. So this is actually 360 degree. So a revolution, a revolution is 360 degree. A revolution, revolution is equal to 360. That means hour hand or minute hand, if it completes a whole rotation, it will create 360 degree. Then what will be half? Half a revolution. Half means we have to divide 360 by 2. So half a revolution will be 360 degree divided by 2. 360 by 2, that will be 180 degree. So half a revolution will be 180 degree. So final answer is, if I turn to half a revolution, then 180 degrees will be created. That means I turn 180 degrees. Now, number seven. Number seven says, if I turn to half a right angle, through how many degrees do I turn? So we know that our right angle, our right angle is 90 degrees. A right angle is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, we can easily say half a right angle will be half a right angle will be will be 90 degree divided by 2. Half means we have to just divide it by 2. 90 by 2, that will be 45 degree. Simple. So if I turn to half a right angle, then 45 degree will be created. Now, number eight. Number eight says, through what angle does the minute hand turn between 14 hour and 15 hour? So what does 14 hour? We know that 14 hour is equal to two hour actually. Okay, because after 12, Okay, again, we have to count from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so after 14, so 14 hour means 2 hour. Similarly, 15 hour means 3 hour. So we have to find out the angle that the minute hand turn between 2 hour to 3 hour. That means from 2 to 3. So if I want to draw this one, that you will understand properly. So this, that is two hour. Two hour, that means our hand will be there. This our hand will come from these two, three. From two to three. So if our hand comes from two to three, then minute hand will complete a whole revolution. Be careful. When our hand complete one hour, that means it moves from two to three, then minute hand will complete a whole revolution. Okay, it will complete 360 degree. So at 14 hour to 15 hour, minute hand will create 360 degree angle. Okay, so for one hour, minute hand will create 360 degree. If we look at number nine, number nine says through what angle does the hour hand? Everything is similar, but here only hour hand. Hour hand means from two to three. Same problem. From 2 to 3, our hand will complete only one part out of 12 part. That means 1 by 12 multiplied by 360 degree. That means 30 degree. So we can easily understand that in one hour, minute hand complete, minute hand complete 360 degree. But our hand will complete only 30 degree. Okay, minute hand complete a whole revolution in one hour and our hand complete only one part out of 12 part. Now, number 10, number 10 says, through what angle does the hour hand turn in half an hour? We can easily say from the previous problem, that is from two to three, two to three, it will create 30 degree. 
from 2 to 3, it will create 30 degree. We have already know this one. Now, the question is half an hour. That means it will be similar like this. I want to draw it. It will be 2 to 230. Then what angle will be created? So from 2 to 230, look at this. It will create half of 30 degree. If our hand turn in half an hour, it will create half of 30 degree. Okay. So 30 degree divided by 2, that will be 15 degree. So our final answer will be 15 degree. That was a very easy question. So again, I want to repeat it. In one hour, minute hand complete 360, hour hand complete 30, and half an hour will complete only 15 degree. I hope you understand this chapter properly. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you soon on next video. Until then, Allah Hafiz. Fiyamayillah.